Good morning. It is Monday, April 23, 2018. We're pleased to bring you today's edition of the local news. Welcome. In the news, gender and sexuality issue needs attention and awareness. Strike by air controllers suspended. And work on improving facilities at the Yuan Adolf Pengel Airport are progressing. I am Dakota Simpson Marshall. This is the local news. The gender and sexuality issue is one that needs attention and awareness. Last Friday, Professor Rhoda Redock gave a lecture on gender, sexuality, and Caribbean diversity, the challenges of the Caribbean. The challenge lies in education from before the birth of a baby. It may be already be determined, according to normal standards, that the baby is a boy or a girl. For the professor, there is a solid link between the lack of understanding of gender and sexuality and the behavior of man. I think the whole issue is much more complex and there's a lot of variety. I think that the main point we want to put highlight is that gender is an important analytical frame that we can use to address many issues in our society and that can provide answers for many of the challenges that our society faces. I think what is important in our analysis also is that a gender analysis also shows how some of the negative factors in relations between women and men in the ways in which men understand what it is to be a man, how women understand what it is to be a woman, how that affects the wider society. And therefore we feel that knowledge of gender, knowledge about this should be more widely dispersed throughout all levels of education at university and even in life skills education in secondary schools because I think it would provide both women and men, boys and girls, with a better understanding of themselves as gendered beings and provide a number of solutions that the society can use in addressing many of the problems of violence against women, of even violence among men, of murder, criminal violence, education, health, is very important, so many issues. Suriname supports Professor Rhoda Redock in her nomination for position in the committee of SEDAW, the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. The industrial actions of the SATC, the Association of Air Traffic Controllers, have been suspended. A statement was signed by the Director of Transport and Communications, Joyce Blockland, Head of Civil Aviation, Faisal Barn, and the Chairman of the SATCA Union, Gernu Ganaro Alfin. It was decided to resume work and to give the Ministry of Public Works, Transport and Communication, OAT and C, two weeks room to discuss the issue further, as indicated by the SATCA. The Ministry was given the space to make the allowances in order. The union indicated that in accordance with the agreements regarding furniture and workspace, progress has already been made. It was also agreed that Minister Patrick Pengel of Public Works will be given the room to discuss the status of the air traffic controllers and the shift allowance with his colleague of finance, Gilmord Ufdrad. It was agreed that, the, that in order to keep the peace within the sector, the path of dialogue will be followed. The parties have agreed to meet again on May 4. From the installation of slices for more efficient passenger handling to the installation of a taxiway at the Yohan Adolf Pengel International Airport. According to the director of the airport, Vijay Chotkan, these works are being carried out within the expansion project of our international airport. The contracting company, China Harbor Engineering Company, is charged with this project. 
in this project, not only the passenger handling was considered, but also the improvement of the facilities of the cargo handling as well, said Chatkan. That brings us to the end of local news for today. Join us again tomorrow for more. Have a blessed day.